Okay, in this same sequence, Scotty is very, he's, he's not happy that they're taking military weapons. Although I think in the Starfleet universe, every in, in ours every ship that goes out into into space would also be a military vessel it would also be combat ready somehow orders scotty that's what scares me this is clearly a military operation is that what we are now i thought we were explorers sign we... for the torpedoes that's an order i mean scientists and explorers but the ship already has phasers and torpedoes i i get i get confused in starfleet because it feels like there should be a military wing and an exploration wing. And if you're in the exploration wing, you get minimal, you get self-defense, but that's nothing really beyond that. Where the military wing is like, we're ready to fight. It's weird that the exploration wing is also the military wing, and yet they're not military, but they're like, please don't arm my ship, but please arm my ship. But I am confused. It's... Right? Right. So my understanding of Starfleet in, or Star Trek, Starfleet, is mm -hmm. there are fully science vessels that are yep. like, we're like, we have no weapons. And then there's the exploratory science and then also first contact vessels that mm -hmm. have phasers and photon mm -hmm. torpedoes and such. Yeah, I just don't, I don't understand what Scotty's objection is. So I guess let's imagine we're an explorer in an unknown land okay. and we have a single pistol for self-defense. Maybe it's a body okay. armor. Okay. Maybe some body armor. Okay. So, Shields, I'm, yeah. I'm go so I feel okay. Like I'm there to exploration for peace. I need to be able to defend myself. So I carry a pistol, maybe put on some body armor, but maybe in 10 years, the new explorers are rolling heavy. AMRAP, uh, rocket launchers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. When did we transition from peaceful exploration with some self-defense to like rolling heavy, burning the forest down? But isn't that really a question of what your enemy combatants are like? Because if you if you go in there with a pistol and and any and like a body armor and everyone else has pistols and body armor, then yeah, you're your peer groups, right? But if everyone has like baseball bats and it's like yeah, you're you're kind of you're kind of going heavy in there, right? But if everyone else has RPGs, then maybe I need RPGs too. Yeah, but then I guess you're transitioning away from exploration at that point. <laughs> At some point, there's a transition where somebody's going to be like, we're not exploring anymore. We're a military invading. But, but that's the thing about space exploration is you don't know what you're going to encounter. And in, because you don't know what you're going to encounter, the Enterprise, as it is without the additional weaponry, might look like to an alien species, like, oh, you're a military group. Well, for the things that we encounter, for the way we design our ships, this is actually self-defense. So I think, gosh, if you're sending out exploration ships to alien worlds, you want to give a, I would imagine you want to come across as an explorer, non-combatant. You can have some defense, but non-combatant. And that's a good message to send instead of rolling heavy. Now there could be some miscommunication, like you said, mm -hmm. but having an exploration ship, I think is the best move. So if you start equipping exploration ships with heavy weapons, we're no longer doing the right so so the question is what classifies as heavy and i think that's just relative to whatever scotty already has and i think if you're i mean this oh gosh if you're encountering alien species and you're totally soft and defensive like you're like in a like we have super strong shields but you could probably push us into the ground that's also mm -hmm. maybe not so good right depending depending on the culture you encounter like if you encounter the klingons they like you know you need to show your weapons because that's what they respect but if you go to Ferengi and you're like, we got these, all these big guns, like, we don't care about that. What, what, is, what are you doing here? So I guess that's where it comes back to why don't we have a military division and an exploration division? Because the exploration is like, as soon as I get into trouble, I'm, I'm cutting and running. I'm running. I'm right. not going to fight. And then I'll tell the military people, like, that planet was hostile. You need heavier weapons. <laughs> like, big brother, you know? go mess them up for me. Like, okay, yeah. Well, I mean, just if we're going to create contact with them, we need to be able to defend ourselves. The exploration right. ship wasn't going to cut it. So I guess I guess a good way around that is to have an exploration ship and a and a military ship fly together in parallel. But then you just you just put it on one ship. I would Let's want go. to send out the exploration ship alone. And that way, the first contact is not militaristic. And then if there's any problems, cut and run. 
get out of there. Mm -hmm. It's more to like send in your diplomats with some self defense, but that's it. Do you see what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, and I think honestly, I think the Sith do it right. <laughs> what? You send the, or the, you, yeah, yeah, yeah right, right. So during the Empire, they would send these little um, like probes, little droids that like just go around, search the planet, come back, let us know what's up. So if Starfleet, if Starfleet did this, because we're, we're doing Star Trek right now, so if Starfleet yeah. did this, you'd I, I would imagine, or what I would do is send out a bunch of autonomous droids, or autonomous probes, just go out everywhere, come back, let me know what's up. That might be step one, and then di diplomacy is step two, which would be like the mm. Enterprise. Mm. And then if you encounter the Klingons, then it's military. Call up the Defiant, which doesn't exist yet, but yes. But the, yeah, the idea of a, a combat-specific <laughs> ship. Right. Okay, I'm done with that. I like that. Mm -hmm.